Southwest Michigan farmers are taking precautions to reduce the risk of avian flu from infecting their animals. News 8's Kyle Mitchell explains the precautions one Ottawa County farm is taking. While this farm near Coopersville says while it's possible for cows to get bird flu, it's not as common and they're doing everything they can to protect their animals. Greenvale Farm provides food directly to customers and keeping them safe along with the animals is the top priority. How we put food on our own table is by putting food on other people's tables. So if we don't want our animals to get sick. We don't want other people to get sick. If we get it, it will directly impact us, and that's why we are so sure with everything we do that we're doing our best. Owner Heidi Hendrickson says they take precautions to protect the animals from disease, including avian flu. People coming from other farms, we try to make sure that their trailers are washed. Um, some farms are spraying their tires, boots are sanitized, especially if they're coming from far away. They monitor the health of the animals, looking for signs of illness, and keep them separated. My chickens are in this barn and my cows are in this barn, so they never really cross paths. And because I don't have like bird trailers coming to my farm and people from other bird farms, I don't really worry about it so much. And I only have a couple hundred chickens. The farm also tries to do what it can to keep wild birds away. We have a landfill a couple miles down the road, so that brings a lot of crows and a lot of pigeons. Um, and I think that's what's carrying it the most. Um, they're eating garbage and waste from ev anywhere and everywhere. And the state visits the farm to make sure the livestock is healthy. I have inspectors on my farm more often because I have my creamery, my own creamery. Um, so they're checking that, they're testing our cheese. While they take precautions, farmers acknowledge there's only so much they can do. I can't put a net around my farm. Um, and just because I'm a small farmer, I'm just as susceptible to it as a bigger farm. Reporting near Coopersville, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.